Take a photo. Zoom out. Open gallery. Next. 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 Go home. It's fast. DigiLens Argo are DigiLens's first AR glasses product, and these are designed for industrial uses to be sold to workplaces that are gonna find ways to use these industrially. That means like the price is designed to be different depending on different groups that are gonna have subscriptions and, and different needs, kind of similar to Google Glass and how it went to an enterprise model. But what's interesting is that the company, which makes uh, waveguide lenses, is kind of looking to propel where the next generation of these glasses could go. And that's kind of a missing link. Even though you maybe not be aware of it, it looks like a lot of the big players like Microsoft HoloLens are kind of pivoting out of the space and what's going to replace it. And if we're all gonna be wearing AR glasses in the future, like a lot of companies are planning, what's gonna happen with everything else? They're kind of different markets. Plus you have mixed reality VR headsets that are trying to show things in the real world but don't have exactly the same uses. This is designed to be something where somebody who works could have a very wide field of view that's not interrupted. I've had people tell me that that's exactly why a Quest Pro would have no use for them because it would be something that would have passed through mixed reality and not tell you if something was about to hit you. Um, I am not an industrial worker, but I would say that right now I'm having a crystal clear view pretty much all around me, about as good as if I was just wearing my glasses which could be incredibly useful. A lot of AR glasses and other things that I've worn have had a lot of obstruction. And what's interesting is you would not get that sense looking from the outside where I look a little bug-eyed and goggled, but it feels very clear and direct and I don't feel like anything's getting in the way. I'm watching a clip of a movie right now. Alita Battle I'm watching, yes, I'm watching the trailer. <laughs> And it's 3D, and it's floating right in front of your, your face. Which is something I've seen in some displays before. What's interesting here is that, you know, not only is the viewing angle pretty wide, but, but DigiLens making uh, waveguide lenses, this is a remarkably clear lens. You know, sometimes you'll see like a hazy rainbow thing on these things. I don't see that at all. So I'm looking around and the room looks as clear as if I just had you know, give my glasses a good cleaning. Um, and even though this thing looks really bulky, possibly, all I'm seeing is a big, clear field of view. I don't see any obstructions here, except for a slight sense above my eyebrows, which I'm not really noticing because it's kind of out of my field of view. I'm getting all the stuff here, getting here, and all the stuff looks really clear. So it feels like, almost like normal glasses, pretty much. The other thing is that I've worn assistive uh, types of smart glasses before, and the response time on this is really fast. So it's as snappy, it's approaching being as snappy as like a phone. So, you know, I, I don't see a, a lag here. You know, it, it, you're not waiting. And this was not even tuned to my voice, so, you know, I'm able to do this and open a camera, which is 48 megapixels, and be able to do various levels of digital zoom. And I can take a photo of you, like open camera, zoom in, zoom in. Take a photo, open gallery. Okay, now I'm looking at your eyes really close up. But that's like, it's as fast as that. That's actually pretty, that's pretty simple. So that's pretty cool. And I mean, the whole idea of this, of these glasses is to be used in a workplace, in an area where you're gonna have field of view, the types of industrial glasses that have been around for a while. So the glasses also have the ability to look at markers on things or like on a big folding phone and project 3D objects on top of them. So I'm doing this right now by looking through a, a camera feed on a display that's looking at the phone and projecting a 3D map on top of this folding phone. But a future update should be doing it where I'm actually to look actually at the phone and have the objects uh, sprout out of it. So I'm getting this glowing city grid that I can lift up and look at details on that's emerging from the phone. And now, this is the first time I've wanted a folding phone. But the use of this is to actually be able to have markers in a workplace, to be able to have other ways to have, you know, objects that you might want to tag and have maybe pop-up directions or information um, that could be useful in a workplace and that is already being used for AR purposes and those types of things. So this demo, uh, 3D CAD, reminds me of demos that I've seen on like the HoloLens, which is it's bringing up this spinning, 
um, model of a engine, like all these parts that are in different colors and they're, they're spinning around. It's 3D, it's in a limited field of view that still kind of looks, you know, like it's filling this space. That's with all AR headsets are like that. But this is able to track in space so I could get closer to it and actually look at it and peek in at it and see it from different angles. And when I do that, there's spatial audio, so I also hear the audio get closer and move around, kind of similar to VR. And it, one thing I'm noticing in this room is like, you know, moderately lit, but it's very crisp, it's bright. And um, it's designed to be like that. It's focusing uh, these glasses, um, according to the creators, are, being, are focused on creating uh, images that are super bright over trying to go for a super wide field of view. Something that in the AR glasses space does come up over and over again. Snap's AR glasses are a good example. One other, one other interesting experimental idea that's going on in these glasses is uh, the ability to tap into somebody else's camera feed in real time to see what they're seeing. So you could actually have multiple glasses wearers and you can monitor what they're seeing, kind of triangulate or on a phone. I did this a few moments ago and looked at myself, which was not flattering, but I got a sense of where I was in the room. Um, but you can see where they could actually be very useful if you wanted to get heads up things, um, what other people are doing in a group. It kind of reminds me of like William Gibson's The Peripheral. These do use prescription inserts, which is a growing trend in the industry. Someone like me who's highly myopic, it freaks me out because I feel like I'm gonna get left in the dust. I did get minus eight inserts put into this, which seemed to work pretty well. But I think it's gonna be an interesting question going forward. How do you get, I'm like, I'm giddy right now. How do you get prescription inserts to work with all of these things and have them work with the prescriptions that you need? That's a whole bigger question. But the point is, I was able to put in these inserts and it looks pretty fine. A little bit fuzzy, but that's because I'm actually a minus 8.25.